Now, did Wale know that Rico had offered you a deal? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what was his thoughts on it? Um, actually, I talked to him. Me and Wally talked about it a lot. My my manager at the time was Wally's business part partner, and he's the one that brought me to Rico. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, at any point, did, did Wally offer you a deal? Yeah, he did. Okay. Yep. Um, this was after, this was after the single, I want to say it was around... After, after it came out on the mixtape, maybe a little bit before it came out on the mixtape, that's when I started getting some different offers from some okay. different people. Have you guys talked after? Yeah, we have, yeah. What was the, the talk about? There's no beef. It's sometimes when stuff gets out on social media, people really know how to blow uh, things I'm all, up. I know all about yeah. that. <laughs> they know how to blow things up. And I think that's what just happened with that situation. It's really... I've I've talked about it in every single interview that I've been to, sure. probably four thousand interviews, and I mean it's it is it is what it is. I still I still have mad respect for Wale. Have you guys performed the song like after you signed Rico? Together? Yes. Yeah, we did. Um, he came to Indiana, and Indiana has this big event at Indiana University. It's called Little Five, and I think it was him, Macklemore, and Talib Kweli. And he brought me out in Indiana to do bad. Okay. And it was so, a really good time. Yeah, it was a really good time. Now, um, you put out your own version of bad without Wale on it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, a second version. A second version. So is I put out bad part two or is that No, no, I just wanted to I just wanted to do the song. I just wanted to do the song over how I wanted to do it. Rico and Rico produced that, so I wanted oh, it so to be... Oh, it's a whole different beat and everything. Yeah, yeah, a whole different okay. beat. And, same um, chorus, though. Same chorus, and, but except for I rap on it. That I, I rap on that one. Sure. I actually, I rapped on the first one, too, I think. Yeah, I did. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's a totally different beat than the first tier, Thomas, Bad, and the Wale Bad. Um... So there's a bunch of different versions. Right. So of that. yeah. So then, then Rihanna did a version of "Bad." Mm -hmm. Now, w w was your version on the album as well? Yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. both versions were. So yeah. that was like the "Bad" remix. Yeah. Um, did you know that Rihanna was going to do it, or did it just pop up on the radio? And, oh no, it? no. I had, I had heard that she was. Okay. And I think that's amazing. A song that I wrote in my college dorm. <laughs> Blue, blew up, and now Rihanna's singing my lyrics. That's, I cannot complain about that. It's pretty dope. Publishing must be pretty good on that. Like, she must wrote be. it all. Yeah. Must be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not mad at all. So I, you, I think, I like the remix. I think it's great. So you, you, you like the Rihanna version? Yeah, I like the Rihanna version. She I think it's dope. dope. She does it justice. I think it's dope. competing against not just who's hot right now, who's trendy right now, I'm competing against the whole Canada music. Like when I think about the greats like Big Daddy Kane and Rakim, they still in my top 10. Kendrick Lamar is creeping up into my top 10, but he only put out one official, official album and a couple mixtapes. When Drake hit me up and was like, yo, I, I think people misconstrued in this tweet I just tweeted because I didn't, he didn't hear about what I did and my, said about my release party. He was like, yo, you did rip that song. And he was like, yo, I, I think uh, he said that line was from an intro on his album or something, so. 